Hello, and welcome back. I'd be surprised if they stay. Uh, here at Nerd Dynamite, I try to help everybody be a better Snap player. So if you're looking to be that, uh, you found the right place. I explain all of my moves, or try to, uh, and my editor as well. So let's get into it. So for today's video, I am using a Series 2 on reveal deck with a couple of odd inclusions. There's Cosmo, what's that doing in an on reveal deck? And there's Claw, which is an ongoing card. So I'm just going to dive into some games and we'll see how this plays. I recorded this video in the previous season since I'm ranked right now in the top 1000 and I wanted you all to see how this deck performs against the best players. Here we go. Alrighty, first up we have Ripley. Believe it or not. Like and subscribe or I will snap away half of your family, but only the half you like. My hand, I have Claw, so it's playing Storm mid or right is typically good. We are going up against a Loki player. Always play Medusa mid. Rocket Raccoon, you don't really want to play him early. You want to play him later. They are clearly going for White Hot Room. Who in the world has Domino in their deck? Do I turn off White Hot Room? I think I turn off White Hot Room. Okay, perfect. Hmm, Cosmo, Rocket Raccoon, Enchantress, White Tiger. Okay, so we can set up an Odin lane because Odin can re-trigger everything. So we will set up middle to be the Odin lane. But I also want to leave space to win. Maybe I can't set up Odin middle because I need to be able to claw as well. I will just play down Rocket Raccoon. And Cosmo left to set up a potential claw play. Is this gonna be Storm? Hawkeye, okay. Got the Cosmo down. Now, there's two Limbos, so they won't, it won't get taken away. I can play Claw left, White Tiger mid, and then Odin mid, which gives me another Tiger. So, I'm going to snap here. We're in an advantageous position. I'm not afraid of this deck. We play White Tiger first because Claw is more of a surprise card. So we will hold that surprise. Okay. Having the tiger go right would have been more preferable. But that is fine. Odin just overkills mid. And I don't have a one drop to play with Odin. If I play Claw mid, that's just a tie. I can Sarah. I can Sarah. Sarah wins mid. And then I would just need to win left or right. So I think we're pivoting and going to Enchantress. 
We're up one mid. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh, what is... And what's this card? Oh, so close. Man. Playing Odin would have won middle. Playing Odin would have won middle. And I forget, I'm leaving this game in. Uh, I always forget when they play Snow Guard to remember they can turn off locations with the Hawk. So I should have been prepared for that and played Odin mid. Odin mid wins. So that was that was my mistake. So yeah, just something to be aware of. Uh, and you should play like the game will end if they have played Snow Guard and haven't looked away those cards. Okay, Slim Shady. Will the real one please stand up? Ammo lab. And now I don't have my small cards. Another destroy deck. Cosmo can come in handy there. We have Sean for the Gamma Lab. I think I hold Rocket. Yes, I hold Rocket for now. That way they can't kill Monger. My Rocket away and I can get a Hulk out of the deal. Enough said, Bob. Okay, they get a Hulk too. Turn four. After turn five, put a card from each player's hand here. That can be a little deadly. Opponent snapped. We will stick through this snap. I can play Jessica Jones, right, and then Medusa and Cosmo somewhere potentially. But we'll we'll see see it through. We have Sean to deal with. Gamma Lab. It's a Venom, probably. Carnage. So they definitely have no. So using Sean on their Hulk just buffs their no. Hmm. I think I want to play Claw. Do I want to play Claw? Because what is this turn? I don't want to play left or right. I can get the Medusa bonus, but Cosmo, I really don't want. I really don't want Cosmo to go left. I think I just play Claw, and then on the last turn, I can play Medusa and Sean, depending on what gets pulled. Okay, nothing went left. Oh, that's a good pull. Okay. Decisions, decisions. I mean, there's not much decisions, but they can't get to 11 here, can they? Middle? This should be a easy win so i uh, you don't want to sean left by the way because that'll pump up their null to to the the moon and just in case it ends in a tiebreaker you don't want that big of a difference and they might have their own sean that they want to play so i'm gonna play medusa and then enchantress just for the extra two points that should comfortably win right 
middle goes up to 11, so they need a 12 power card, and they have death and no, but they typically don't have bigger cards, so I think we're good here. Yes, we are. Oh, and I didn't even have to... <laughs> I didn't even have to attack the doll. I could have just played a decent amount of points. Okay, took out a destroyed deck. Good win with a pure Series 2 and below deck. Okay, we are up against Vitor. 1,200. Mindscape, they can get all of my trash cards. I typically like to hold my one cost cards until a little bit later in the game, just so I see what my opponent's deck is and just so I better know where to position my power. With When you have a deck that is subpar, you really need to think very carefully about how you want to manage how you want to manage the game, where your power goes, because you don't have much of it. We always play Medusa mid. It was our only card to play here anyway, because again, we're holding on to our one cost cards. Scorpion, potentially that means a high Evo. Deck, and in that case, Enchantress does nothing for me with a high Evo deck. And Hawkeye, I'll just hold. I don't want to play him middle. Yep, and there's... Oh, the armor. Okay. So now we Enchantress. Enchantress, Spider-Woman, Odin, or potentially... I'm going to snap here and try to scare them. <laughs> One more word, and I will feed you to my children. We're not in the best of positions. <laughs> Victory. Perfect. So this is why, again, this is why you snap as well, as early as possible, where you think you might have an advantage. I will tell you what Vitor was thinking, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The only card on the board was Medusa. So in good decks, Medusa typically means gain priority and shut down the opponent through certain tech cards, whether that be Eliath, whether that be Cannonball, whether that be Professor X. They don't know we are a pure Series 2 deck by just seeing Medusa. Now, if we played Hawkeye, then you start to wonder, well, maybe they're Bounce, maybe there's something else, maybe they just have a weak deck. But playing just Medusa shows that we might be a much better deck. There's also Mindscape on the board. So if they have a big six drop that they're looking to protect, they won't be able to do it, which I quite frankly forgot about. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have played Enchantress, so I get their big six drop and they can't Sean me if I draw Sean and end up not playing him. So, but this is a good example of why you snap early. Okay, we have Antonio. Our hand is shaping up nicely. We have Medusa and Storm, good early turn plays. That's where I wanted to play anyway, Pet Mansion. Okay, we are kind of in the driver's seat. So where do I play Storm? I think I play Storm mid since I already have power here. Let's not tempt fate. If they don't play, okay, they did play an Aunt May this turn. Wind, aid my hand. Oh, I went mid. That kind of stinks. But they did play a destroy the Nico destroy spell. Hmm. They in all likelihood have Killmonger. 
but if they play Killmonger before turn five, or during turn five, before turn six, my rocket comes back. So I think I just play both of these middle. It doesn't matter which order. Was this a Deadpool, maybe? Yes, Deadpool gets destroyed. And oh, then a, a Venom? Or Deathlock? Venom. Enough said, Bob. Okay. So we're winning mid. If they play... Uh, I don't know what I want to do. If they play Killmonger, they would need to play Killmonger this turn, though. And maybe they do. And then that means I play Claw left. Because my one cost will go right. So I think I want to play White Tiger, and then I can Odin that lane and fortify one of the others. Okay, there's the Killmonger play. That was expected. I definitely need to change my underwear. So they destroyed Wolverine, X-23, and Deadpool twice. So that's four destroys, plus their Nico. Oh, did we just win this? I think we won. <laughs> I think we won this. Uh, and then just Odin... Odin right means I get a white tiger somewhere else. But yeah, I think we see this through. I'd be surprised if they stay. Unless they can get power into flooded. Are ye worthy? Where does the tiger go? I don't even think it matters if they can get power into flooded now. Oh, and they forgot about the Nico. <laughs> or maybe they didn't with the no play. Uh, so I'm glad they let me play it out, but that was not a good stay on their part because I barely had to put any power right, and they couldn't. They clearly couldn't flip the flooded location with the cards they played. So, good win against Destroy. Okay, we are up against MOBA U. The Vault is a good location for our deck, as long as we can stack some power there. It would be even better if we can get Storm. Cloning Vats, Medusa there is decent. Okay, a discard deck, and regular discard looks like with the swarms. Might also be C3. That's a rare build that they run. Keep playing Medusa mid. Uh-oh, bad Dakin. But I do have Sean for that. The Vault. Okay, okay. So I think I want to snap. Where are they going to play this other Dakin is the question. I'm going to snap. Where do they play the Dakin? Because I also have the White Tiger play as well. I think they're going to play the Dakin right to just ensure they have power right. Which means we play left. Oh, they played it mid. Okay. Okay, they didn't want it closed off completely.
So they almost definitely played this taken left, which means we just need to. We have got to win right. We've got to win right. So I have an eight powered Medusa and a Sean for the last turn. So this is six power right. So I can get up to 14 right. I think I want to do that because they're. How many swarms do they have in their hand? They have seven cards in hand. Okay, I think this is the play because I want to Sean... Oh, that's interesting. Wow, I did not expect that. I have priority. That's what they were doing. They were managing priority. They were managing priority. <laughs> So, this is a 50-50. Where do they play their MODOK? I think they play MODOK right to just shore up that power since they have two Dakins middle. So, what that means is Rocket Raccoon is five points. This is eight points. That's 13. Cosmo is 16, 22. Okay, that's what we're playing for. Let's see if the gamble paid off. Oh, one. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that was not entirely expected, them to only buff their Dakins once, but I did properly assess that this is where I needed to shore up and kind of abandon middle, which is what I did. And they were definitely managing priority, maybe in the hopes that they draw into MODOK, but a, a good strong win. We didn't draw uh, Storm, unfortunately, but thanks to the Vault, the Vault was a very good Storm stand-in and pulled out a good win against this card, Series 2 deck. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it there. We are at 880 now. That's more or less where I started. And again, my philosophy is if you can maintain with a deck, it is the pilot's fault that you didn't gain ranks and not the deck's fault. But in this case, it kind of might be the deck's fault. <laughs> so, but this just goes to show you, you there were definitely losses in here. I did, I included a loss. I cut out some losses, so I don't want to fool anybody. This is not some oppressive deck. Uh, this is a Series 2 deck, but what this goes to show you is that with good snapping and retreating mechanics, with uh, good play lines, good ability to recognize what your, your opponent is trying to do, and just as you get better with a deck, all of those things will come together, and you can win with a Series 2 deck. And mind you, I am in very high infinite rank, top 1000, and I was still able to maintain my rank. And you might think, boy, this nerd took a series two deck into top 1000? How did he not fall back to top 5000? So you can definitely win with this deck at lower levels. Again, it takes good focus and good fundamentals, but you can, I just proved, you can win games with this deck and you can win cubes. So, and also if you have some series three cards unlocked, uh, it's definitely series four and five, just try to fit them in too, right? Uh, there are plenty of good series two decks out there and you can win with them. You just have to be super careful. So thanks for checking out this gameplay and until next time, take care.